If the claim is strong, it won't need a famous bodyguard. It will stand in an empty room and still be true. This is the house rule from here on out. Any claim that can pass through those doors earns attention. Anything that can't is just asking you to clap on command. And if you start expecting this from me and from yourself, you will feel the temperature change. Less heat, more light. Now hold that standard in your head as we move, because once you do, the next point snaps into focus. One solid result beats a stadium of opinions. Let's land this. We've peeled off hype, crowds, diplomas, venues, debates, and hearsay. And we pinned a simple rule to the wall. Receipts over reputations. Not because experts don't matter or debates can't teach, but because none of that is the proof. Proof is the part that still stands when the crowd goes home and a stranger reruns the work on a Tuesday. Here's your move now. Take a claim you care about, yours or mine, and say it clean in one sentence. Tell me how we'd know, point to what was actually observed, walk me in plain language from those observations to the meaning, and admit where it could break. If you can do that, you own your understanding. If you can't, that's not failure, it's the beginning of thinking. Curiosity beats certainty cosplay every day of the week. I don't care who can destroy whom. I care what's true and how we know. Show me the terrain, not just the map. And if your favorite person really helped you see, you won't need their name to make the case. Einstein once faced a book titled 100 Authors Against Einstein. His reply, one of the most cold-blooded things I've ever heard. If I was wrong, one would have been enough. Same energy here. If your favorite person is correct, their argument should carry without the name tag. Bring me the work, not the worship. Receipts over reputation. See you in the lab. Wow.